look, the Mad Hatter, it was his, his symbol of status, the hat made him taller, man of importance. That's what kills him, the hat, the chemical in the hat destroys him, the spirit, if you like. The queen, what is significant about the queen? She's in charge. <laughs> Oh my goodness, power corrupts. It'll destroy you. It'll destroy everyone that comes near you. Like Hitler and Stalin. You know, I mean, even Rommel was told to commit suicide. Because he knew Hitler was bad news. Better to surrender to the Americans than be ruled by fascism or communism. And Hitler had him killed for such a view, of course. <laughs> it's quite reasonable, isn't it? <laughs> the rabbit. Hmm, he's condemned by his long ears. He listens to too much gossip. He hears everything. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so in consequence, the rabbit hides away in the ground, digs so many holes that the ground subsides. The palace collapses. Who would have thought eavesdropping big ears was such a sin to warrant such a condemnation. Gulliver asleep. Why? Well, he was tired. And it was a beach to lie on. It's big enough to take security and just losing consciousness and having a rest. He was wrong. Poor chap. Never, ever lose consciousness of God. Mm, what of Aslan? The kids despair because they live in the present. They care and notice as little about the future as they remember of the past. They live for now. And as the future comes, things will be all right again. Thank you, Dad. It is this experience of the survivors in life that builds that eternal optimism, that hope, that trust, that is the foundation of life eternal. And our dad knows well how to fashion it and have us come to hold it too. Thank you, dad.